So it's uh, Monday. <laughs> I think it's the tenth. Anyway, last night, which was Sunday, uh, I'd gone out to walk the garden about nine p.m. Now, just behind our property has been an empty villa ever since I've been here. So it's been over six years. And since I've been here, uh, a couple of years ago, we had some squatters all the way from Barcelona, no doubt, uh, that tried to break in one evening. Uh, frankly, our other neighbours tried to evict them, uh, which they did. Uh, and then last night, I noticed that the back windows had been opened and there was a bit of a noise going on. So I walked down the side of the path. Uh, hi, Femme. Oh, Thomas. Top people for popping in. So this is a bit of a serious video today, guys. So I might not say hello to you all. Um, how to deal with squatters. Hi, Paul. And um, if you don't deal with squatters straight away, guys, if they once they get in there within 24 hours, you're going to have a hell of a job trying to get them out. Anyway, I obviously, we on campus away, we got our own security group. I contacted the security group. But because it is evening, hi, Bruce. Um, there wasn't a lot they could do, really. Good evening, Nick. Good afternoon, I should say. Um, anyway, they couldn't help me, so I phoned our local police, which was the Mazaron police, but unfortunately, and it's all my fault, really, uh, they couldn't speak any English. So I phoned 112, which is the local emergency line for all three departments, uh, and you can ask to speak to an English operator. Now, the English operator that I had uh, wasn't much help at all, really. Um, he didn't understand the word squatter, so I had to say it was a break-in, which it was. I mean, they broke into the, the property, um, Andy, and, um, yeah, they broke into the property. <laughs> uh, and, anyway, I had to describe where it is. Now, it's not on my street, it's in the cardi sack. I'm at the back of it, so I don't even know those properties in that street because uh, it was asking me for the number the name of the street I managed to find out the name of the street but I didn't know what the number was uh, Raymond and um, anyway it was just going nowhere because he then he wanted me to describe well, what they doing I have to describe what they were doing I mean what it was it was a man and a woman with a young child about eight even though the child at eight had a crowbar in his hand so there was no doubt they weren't up to no good uh, and then what they were trying to do was tidy up the property, um, obviously to, to stay there. Uh, anyway, hopefully that I must have put them off in the end. Anyway, I was then told to uh, try uh, Alert Cops, um, which I had to download. Now, Alert Cops, it sounds like a brilliant idea if you did get attacked or you got lost, uh, because it keeps a track on whereabouts you are. You can, it's, so I, I've, I've got that, but because it was late at night, I couldn't take any photographs. Anyway, thankfully by then I found out, I can remember that the people that own the property, I sent them a message because it's Sunday night, they couldn't do nothing about it. But anyway, today they spent a the whole day um, securing the locks on the doors and the windows because it's been an empty property. Nobody takes much notice of it. Uh, it's such a shame, you know, for these people. Anyway, thankfully it's been resolved, but like I'm saying is, if you don't keep on top of these things, um, these people will just keep on trying and breaking the properties. But, like I said, because it's got, they had a child, if, if they'd stayed there more than a day or so, local authorities don't have much chance of getting them out, um, which is such a pain really, for especially people that's got properties there. So it's a big thing uh, when I mention about security uh, making sure your house is properly secure, or your neighbours. I mean, obviously, I can. I always keep an eye on it anyway. And thankfully, I noticed it last night, and it was dealt with. So, bit of a serious one today. Unfortunately, sorry about that. Don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, a bit of a pain really. And of course, in in while all that commotion, I had to keep going down the street to see what was going on because you wanted me to know what the vehicle was, what they were wearing, what colour they were wearing, what they were doing. Um, I'd shut, I sh left my keys in the house and locked myself out. Thankfully, I got some keys around the property in little secure boxes with numbers on them. And I forgot the code number. 
But anyway, it all resolved itself, thankfully. Um, yeah, not a good time. Anyway, <laughs> I've just gone over in five minutes. It's all been resolved, that's the main thing. Uh, and you can deal with it, so don't worry if, because you can't speak the language, it can be dealt with. So that's the whole blab today. Hopefully tomorrow's gonna be a better day. And I'm sure it will be, because it's fantastic weather. I'm gonna flick it round, because I've gone over the time, just so you can see the pool. Anyway, guys, very much for popping in. Most appreciate it. Adios, amigos. I'll catch you tomorrow.